Welcome back to the YouTube show. Um, what is this? Four, 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 four. Four, four. Yes, sir. Nice. This is Mike's tech tips. You're not. Ti you're not tired, are you? Yeah. This is Mike's tech tech tips. Shout out to Jeff Forty One Thirty, which is Chrome Molly, Chrome by Molly. the way. I, uh, I recently saw a video of his, and you just saw it, mm -hmm. on the drop target fi fix. Yeah, uh, you can fix them that way. There's hey. a lot of ways to fix them, but... Looks like you made that video, like, I don't know, six or seven months ago, because it, yeah. it had Roger Hodgson in it. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, he, he, gave you, he gave you credit at the end, which is nice with the referral to our channel and all. That's very cool. Yeah. But he gave you credit. Well, it was you that sands me. Yeah, that was my idea. Yeah, I don't, I don't sand them. There's other ways to make them work when they don't, when they don't uh, go down. If you hit it dead on, it sort of bounces back. There's a lot of different ways to do it, what? but that's an easy way to do it. It's, it's quick. You don't want to take too much off there, or they won't like. Or they won't off. stay up. Yeah. Or they'll fall down. Yes. Um, you gotta watch. But at any rate, mm -hmm. thanks, thanks for that. It's kind of little neat tech tribute video. Right. Um, it inspired me to find the high speed button on my camera so that I could uh, just that so that I could do the little promo you saw for this week's episode because okay. I was trying to explain to you if you're going to show something in slow motion you have to shoot fast so that there's footage to slow it up huh? to slow it up because uh, um, this this week is uh, about ball hop right? okay at the in lane yes flipper bat so what do you have to say about that? Most of the time I will not do this in a field because I do not have the equipment. Okay. Um, you can, it depends on the machine, the model. You can do some by just loosening and adjusting the in the Yeah, guys. just tweaking it and tighten it back And then down. some EMs have metal round uh, rails that you can bend. Uh -huh. So I do that when I can, but some of this stuff, especially these older Williams like this and Comet and some others, you really can't do that out in the field. You need equipment like a belt sander and whatever you use. Okay. Um, super bands happen to be a little thicker and they make ball hop worse than they uh, do. standard uh, red or black uh, rubber bands. And this will rubber not work bands. for all machines. For example, that hook that was in here, that that east, it has, has, plastic. has the plastic in lanes. There's, not, there's nothing you can do, at least, you know, I uh, guess you can reposition the flipper assemblies if you really wanted to. That, uh, yeah, there's. It, it little, has. It has these. Keep in mind, you're not dealing with a lot of movement to get the ball hop away. Right. It's not a quarter of an inch or anything. No. No. It's just like fifty thousandths, maybe or less. Uh, it depends on the machine and what it was done. Uh, uh, but Williams games have a unique problem. These early ones, like Flash, Gorgar, Firepower. Black Knight and such, and then these things wear out. These are the stainless steel. Uh, ball guides and if you look close um, at the wear edge it's wore pretty much uh, a lot. That one's bad. Yeah that one's bad. <clears throat> uh, this will cause it. Uh, there is companies making new ones. Um, Cliffy's offers several of these. I don't know who's distributing for them but Cliffy's yeah. makes several of these. I could have swore my, I saw them on Pinball Life, but no, I just went there and they're not there. Yeah, so, see, they used to offer them. I, so I don't know, you know, maybe, but maybe. But, but Cliffy, um, yeah, call Cliffy to get these. He makes several different versions, right? If yours is really, really mad, <laughs> like this. Yes, if it's that bad. Yeah, um, that's bad. But we're going to show them what to do. I've got one there that's kind of marginal. Yeah, I see it. I can feel the lip on it. It's amazing how the ball wears that, because these aren't very thin. These, these. These things have a thickness on them, uh, probably 040, 050. So, what do you want to take it off? Well, I filmed this one doing what you saw it doing. You saw the film, right? Yes. You're not tired, are you? Yeah. You gonna take credit for this too? Yeah. <laughs> You know, there was this league I used to play in, and there was a there was a cyclone there that was so bad it was freaking. It single handedly caused me to stop playing in the league because it had ball hop so bad. So you want to show this one? Okay, what do you got there? Well, it has slight wear. You can see it. Uh, okay, 
Well, what you're going to do is you're going to take that into a straight edge. Let's go, let's go back into the shop there where we can uh, reman this thing. Okay. I'm, I'm following you. Put some pep in your step, Daddy. Dude, I worked 16 hours the last day. Okay. And I'm tired. You see my straight edge there? Before you even go there, you're going to put it up against the straight edge, and you're going to you're going to see how straight it is or isn't. Yeah. Right. Okay, you see that little gap in there? Yeah, I see it. You're going to make that go away. All right. That's that's one thing you're going to do, and I I guess I would leave the little. Uh, Standoffs on there at this point mm -hmm. to uh, just as something to use to hold it. Oh, yeah. All right. So, your belt sound is, eh? Beep. You got eye protection on? Yes. We've got some extra time this week, Ray, huh? What? Extra time? Yeah, did you have a movie review? Because I hadn't heard whatever this was. Um. Is it a shitty movie? No. Um, movie review this week. Well, we haven't done that. In a we while. haven't done that in we a long time, and I've got extra. People want that. I don't know, but I've. my opinion on the movie. Uh, this this week's right. episode was kind of dry. We didn't bash anybody. Um, well, no. We okay. didn't really get angry. No, this is a tech tip video. We'll, we'll do that. We'll next bash week. somebody next week. We're already planning on it. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be good. I'm sorry, I gotta do it. I call people out. But you know, usually they give me credit for that. Oh yeah, yeah. Do you like it now? Yeah, I It doesn't take much. I guess I do. If it does take much, then you, you might want to try to find another one. I'm gonna cool him off. Okay. Don't hurt yourself. So you take these off. I can see you've never done this before. No, I'm not interested in doing this in the field, Mike. Okay. You know what this will be well never mind. Well this is what you, this is what you gotta do if you want the ball hop to stop. Not me. Because I don't do it in the field. Okay. I'm not asked to do fabrication work in the field. But check it out, our tech tips is not for people that are running around in the field. Correct. This is for, <laughs> for homeowners. Shop, <laughs> and this is even kind of an advanced thing. That's no, not those. so bad. Okay, what do you do? Okay, well, how would you get those out? You're going to take a drill that's uh, the right size. Yeah, I guess, and knock huh? the curves off. Yeah, you're just going to... You have a sharp drill? Yeah, just kind of pick one you like there. A quarter inch, huh? Quarter inch work? Sure. Be careful, don't hurt yourself. This thing is dull, dude. Well, what happens when you buy drills at Harbor Freight? Right. Harbor Freight. So, you want to drill these out, eh? Dry protection on. Don't drill through your fingers. Huh? Don't drill through your fingers. Well, the problem with drilling these is that it they spins. Spin. Yes. Yeah, there you go. Um, if you support it a little bit, you'll get away with not. They, they don't put up a huge fight. Showing your finger. Um, if you try to clamp these with anything, you'll bend them. No, don't do that. Um, you want to try to work the drill bit back and forth at an angle, and then you can. You know. Okay. You could use a, a punch, but I think you'd hurt this. Well, yeah, we, we got to save those. We're reusing them. Right. Almost. 
feel soon like as you see uh, as soon as you see this kind of metal piled up, that means you're, you're done. Yeah, you're close. Okay. If you don't see much on top, you're not close. All right. Now listen, I'm helping you here. Help it. Okay. You've got those three thingies you just took out. I don't right. know what their technical name is. We're going to call them thingies. Standoffs. The standoffs. Now there's still um, enough material there to center. They're going to still slide up in the center. So we're back on the belt sander again. We need to make so the top of those top flat. Off. Those need to be flat. Now we don't want to go too far. And that opens up to here. Do you have to open it up? Well, you, no, it's just, no. Just so the plate can slide. Oh, flat. All right, here we go. So you're going to give them a night. You're going to make them nice and flat. All right. What? What? What's the movie? All right. This week's movie pick for for me is an old science fiction movie called THX 1138. Never heard of it. What that number letter sequence means is that's actually a person. In the future, uh, there is no names. You're not allowed to have a name. And you're not born, you're grown in a test tube, and there is no... Nobody fools around. No, oh. no, no, no. No fooling no. around. Nope. Okay. No, no birth. Demolition no, Man. Yeah, huh? Demolition Man. Yes, yeah, sure, I guess, yeah. Well, this is an older movie, I forget. Because okay. they didn't have sex in Demolition Man either. Right. Remember? Yeah. Well, this is the same venue, and nobody dresses in any clothes except white. Uh, nobody has any hair. There's no facial hair, no hair. No hair. Everybody's bald and no hair. Uh, a probably result of their uh, their upbringing. Yeah, and you're on um, medications to uh, balance personality and aggression and this and that. So you're taking medications every day. The computer monitors you. You take uh, you get a blood sample every day. Every day. You go to work. Yes. Oh my. Uh, you'd have to watch it. I'm it's not like a this two way. hour movie. Oh my. Um, look it up. It's What's your point? Cool. What? What's your point? I think it's fascinating. <laughs> um, my point is uh, society is maybe it? going that way. Full of girly men. Yep. You're allowed to say girly men? Yep, girly men. Yeah, mm. people that complain all the time. Flowers, delicate flowers. <laughs> oh, I pulled my shoulder. I can't help you with that, Hobbit. Okay. Well, I didn't burn my fingers off. Okay. But. Them little buggers get hot. I'd suggest alternating them so they each cool off in between. Okay, well that makes sense. You could hold them with pliers, but they're again they're flimsy yep, okay. and they might squish. Be careful with them. Yeah, they're very thin stainless. Okay. Well, Maybe steel, chrome steel. I don't know. Small break for doing a nice job. Small. Here's your opportunity now. While you're at it, you have these out. You know where I'm going with this? I don't know. You're going to polish them? I'm not going to polish all of them. I like your uh, tool rig. Yeah, this. only I should have gone to the other end because I have no way to chuck it there. Oh, well, I could, but... Well, you wonder why my drills are dull. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> what, am, what am I doing here? I'm taking my biggest drill, which ain't quite the right size, Quarter inch, yeah. and I'm using it to hold that. Yeah, just to polish it. Which I'm going to put yeah, on this. Yeah. Which I'm going to put on this here drill. And then you get the, the the goo, the magic stuff. This this stuff. That works good. Okay. I like it. It's a general purpose. It starts out as rubbing compound and turns itself into polishing, polishing compound. Yeah, it's great stuff. It's really interesting the way that breaks down. Only that stuff I found. Yeah. I tried some other rubbing oh, compound. And, it's, and it, it's it stays be, rubbing compound. It's got to be the stuff in the bottle. It can't be the turtle wax in, in the can. In the can, the hard day yeah, now, the paste stuff now. So you take a drop of that and you. Am I on there somewhere? Yes, you're losing it. Look how nice it is. Ooh, bling. Bling. Now yeah, you, you spend it. You spend a minute with all three of those and they end up looking blingy. About like that and they're flat on the top. Dude, you're the man. Alright, you know what we're gonna do do with this? Yes. Do you? Go ahead. Go ahead, get the thingy out. You're gonna uh, use the belt center tool. Where did you put it? It lives up here. Storage is kind of a short supply here. Yeah, well you're doing good with it. It's 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 uh, efficiently compact. Are you working it? Are you? Yeah, it's your turn. Mm -hmm. And you got your handy dandy belt sander that you can get 
probably at Harbor Freight would be my right. guess. That's right. Is that a Harbor Freight job? Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to polish this? Yeah, whichever side's going to be up. Direction. Well, either one, I guess. Yeah, well, that one. We're yeah. working on this lane, right? Yeah, we're on the right side. So you want this up? We're on the other side. Right? No. No. That's right, this side, because that's the flipper. Yeah, the one. side that's got your drill marks this on it. This slide, side up. You can go to the direction of the grain, you know, and that. Yeah. You don't want to slip off this because no. your fingers might not like I it. I usually also like to wet it. I'll, I'll have a... <laughs> it. If that makes a mess, I do that outside because it throws water all over the place. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're not done yet. This is something like what you end up with. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. Not bad. Yeah, you go in the direction of the brush and you don't want to do this. <laughs> no, <laughs> not really. No. You want to work off the end here and go in and just straight. Because doing this would turn out bad. Yes, and it'll end up biting your finger and it'll hurt. Well, first off, you're pushing down on this. And if it takes a hike, you're pushing now down your fingers on that. Yes. That belt will take your fingers off quick. Okay. I done it once. All right. I thought I knew better, and I didn't know better. Okay. Guess what? We're we're almost done with this. Um, okay. Although uh, I guess we can pause while we're back here. Um, some of the standoffs are on plastic. Um, right. Pla like right behind you there. Right. That's right. Um, and the operation there is going to be similar. Mm -hmm. um, what you're going to do is you're going to pop this standoff out of here. At least you don't have to drill those. Yeah, you don't have to drill these. Right. Mm -hmm. All right, and okay. you're going to. Don't send it? No, well, I guess you could, but I just... No, that's I fine. take a razor blade. Yeah. Oh, okay. You take a razor blade. <laughs> <laughs> and you know... Do we have a medical? Yeah, I don't know. That's, I don't know. Look at the board. Yeah. And you kind of just line this up here where the way you want it. Right. And you take... That's, right, that's and, easy. And now it's... And that's now, nicer than belt sanding because plastic melts. And now it's flat. Very good. Um... This is going to come into play later. I'll, I'll come back to this and explain something new with that later. Mm. Um, but uh, we're done for a second. Let's reconvene at the Black Knight in a moment. Mm. Get all that I remember all of it. Have at it. You're going to be doing this in the field. I can see it. No. You're going to, like, you're going to play test it and it's going to be like, oh, I can't stand this ball hop. Let me show you how to fix this. No, I don't think. Um. All right, well. I tried other methods, by the way, that weren't so good. Did you? Yeah. Well, like, then that's how you learned it. Like bolting, like instead of cut, cutting those things off, coming back and, and just moving the hole. No, no, no. no. Well, you, that's because you you don't need a whole 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 move. You you don't need that much movement. Yeah. So uh, trimming these uh, standoffs off to give you that little bit of movement is what you want. Okay. Now th this machine has an add-on for this year of Black Knight or or Firepower or Flash or Gorgar. They mostly just had the first tier. They didn't have the stacked. Um, right. Yeah, and these were the correct length screws for the the uh, for the steel plate, the yeah. stainless steel plate. They wouldn't work on the conversion no, at all. No, because you need longer ones. And even when you do the, suppose you're not even going to do these because these came with a new plastic mm -hmm. set. If you have an original one, you're just dealing with the, the factory screw and the one stainless steel ball guide. So you're you're going to still want longer screws. Slightly. Uh, Yes. Yeah, slightly, like like maybe a quarter of an inch, because you've got to get into some new wood to make it sturdier, because half of the time these things have been wobbling around with the looseness of the ball guide, you know? Right. People have been tightening. Oh, yeah. You might, you might, need, a, you might need a toothpick your hole. Yeah, uh, I like toothpicking <clears throat> holes. Um, don't go with a larger screw to avoid the loose screw. Uh, toothpick the holes. I like using Elmer's glue or some kind of wood type. And then put a toothpick in with glue on it, and then break it off, and then you can put it flush until the hole is almost filled up. Okay. Where's your piece? That, Did you bring your piece back? Where's your new piece at? It's in there. Because we got to install that and see if we fix the ball hop, even though I know we did. Oh, right. So this is just a factory test piece. Yes.
I don't know where I find it. Was in my thing of thing of uh, things of yes, good use my stuff. my inlane collection. Yeah, most of them are beat. And of course, there is uh, there is one um, machine screw on the end. Yes, thankfully, that's not always the case. No. But it enables you to move and pull tight. Yes, that was a design improvement yeah, by screws, them. Wood screws don't tend to give you that option of pull tight. They tend to pull the wood up. Yeah. Yeah, you have to be more careful of deciding when when you're done and when yeah, it's tight. Especially on a uh, an old wooden play field that has its miles on it. Yeah. All right, so we'll put this in and then we'll see what you got, right? Tighten it down 90% of the way there, you can we can show them where the uh, slip is. Um, I would normally add washers here. Yeah. Um, but because it's metal to metal, it's not as critical. This is what you get. Yes, you can now slide it around. The whole thing back and forth. Just that little bit of play is going to give you what you want. Yep, you're going to bias the back down and the big, I mean if you, depends on how bad your problem is too. Right, but this gives you... It's funny because there's so, there's so much uh, uh, poor tolerances and build quality that some games you, you can never have a problem, then other games you, you have to go, like you know. All, yeah. It's like a pitching bat. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> Uh, all right so okay you, so uh, tighten it down to where you want it there Ray. i'm going to put it right here and you'll want to go slightly tighter than usual again because you're you don't want it to slide out of position i like it there you can try it to see if you have ball do you got it where you want it i think so okay. I, I bolt it there you go there you have it okay <laughs> we're almost done um you can take that piece of crap back out of there crap all right and, and here's here's what it looks like when it has a plastic on top of it. Yeah, and you want to use washers like you said so you don't kill your plastic. You want washers on both sides of the plastic because you're going to be tightening down tighter and plastics don't like to really be tightened on. No, and new ones, uh, unlike this optional one, these new ones do have plastics uh, from stock. Same machines like this. Same thing here. This one's, this one's been done. Everybody, you want to you want to tap those screws loose there a second? That what? Got you working on two spots. You can bust those loose. Here's an example of where it's got the plastic standoffs. And the reason you're cutting cutting the tops off of those is so that you can put your washers in there and have it sit nice and flat. Now it's not going to move up here, but it will. It will move down at the bottom. Yeah, it will. Doesn't it? Yes. Look how much play you got. Yes, a lot. So you want to bias that up to where it's about straight mm -hmm. and tighten her back down. Looks good. You also need your flipper to be lined up right because you know if your flipper's if your flipper's like this, you're going to have ball hop every time because it's going sure. to come down here and hit Yeah, that's it. also a critical factor. So yes, line them up straight, straight edge. Perfectly straight. Ray. Whatever. Player's perspective. Yeah, I know that does that doesn't affect whether it works or not, but it does to me. Some people like the ability to catch the ball. Yeah, well, that's that's fine. Um, uh, so you need a more up angle. Yeah, that, that, but, well, they're wrong. Um, I've been corrected before, and I do what somebody wants. So well, whatever. Yeah, well, yeah, the customer's right. If they, if they want it that but way, but it isn't right. But it's going to roll down, and it's going to hit the flipper and bounce. And, and if I come over and, and play their machine, I'm going to laugh at them. So same thing there. It's the same piece underneath the plastic. Are you happy with that? Sure.
Was that useful to anybody? Did somebody ask for it? Not, no. No? Well, the thing is, is I just kept, I kept mentioning it, but I never really, um, I never really explained what there was to it. And I made light of it like it was really easy to do, but it did, it did take me kind of a while to come up with that whole process. Yeah, for different machines. Now, who, it, who did you find to be the worst manufacturer? Dead East, maybe? The ones you couldn't adjust more. Well, Sorry. well, the, you can't do anything They're with a, unique. anything with a pla anything with plastic. You, can, I mean, it's got to be this style of inlay, where it's metal. So plastic guides, like on a Stearns or yeah, you, there's nothing you can do with East them. Like, like the the right, the Daddy East, they sit down in a little hole. Right, right, right. Uh, uh -huh. So yeah, there's not there's not nothing you can do there. I, I guess if you really truly had a problem, you could remove the flipper assemblies and relocate the the uh, the plate. Where you could elongate the holes in the flipper plate, okay. right, mm -hmm. and and get your you know thirty second of an inch play there. Okay. Yeah. Right. You could move the flipper. Yep. Towards, the holes. towards you back. Right. Um, You'd have to do eight holes. Well, my God, I've done that. I have done that before. Um, well, yeah, because the shaft, uh, flipper shaft through the play field is plenty big enough. Right. There's it? there's move, there's room to do it there. The hub has room. Um, I recommend trying this first. Right. I see you got a JT shirt on there. Show the JT shirt. He watches our film. No, he doesn't. Commented on the other one. <laughs> As I talked to him yesterday. Hi, Jim. <laughs> Get to work. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, man, that goes right up through the WPC. It's a Johnny mnemonic. You can do it to that. Right. Uh, I did it to comment on the left on the left end lane. Right. Um, anything with that style of lane, you can do it too. Okay. Uh, and it'll make your game more fun. Well, you can aim and shoot the more yes. accurate flip. Yes, shot. you can make shots instead of, you know, kind of randomly whacking it. Yeah. Uh, I agree. So, there. That's I fun. don't play, and I still agree because I recognize that and I appreciate that when that's done. Okay, good. Really. Now. Next week, Ray, can you come up with something, maybe? I will. Because I'm, you know, I was out, and then this was kind of, this was kind of a fallback. Well, this is your uh, tech. Yes, your tech tip. You developed this. Uh, you can have, you can take credit for it, like you did, like you did on well, the podcast. Well, yeah, Crow Molly's going to do that. He's going to he, say he, thanks, Ray. <laughs> thanks, Ray, for the tip. <laughs> <laughs> How uh, do you feel about that? Oh, man. I don't like it. <laughs> nope. I don't like it. That's Brennan's type I think that's I think that's about it. Please visit our eBay store. Um, I've been very busy at, at updating it and I've lowered prices on a lot of the older listings. So okay. if you saw something there a while back and you thought, well that's just a little too high, go back and look again. There's a good uh, part selection for everything on there from jukes to oh, we've got four hundred touches to pins to early pins, late pins. We've got four hundred listings and I'm I'm adding on average, you know, twenty to thirty listings a week. It, it supplies uh, people with uh, something that they don't have to buy a whole play field to get to, like this hardware thing you're doing. That's why that's so popular, because people don't have to buy, and some of it's not available. Uh, so that's handy. I mean, you can always wait and go to a show and buy a whole play field, I suppose, but then what do you do with the rest of it? So Part it out on eBay. That's a lot of work. Yeah. Well, well, you do. That's a good work. thing my time's not worth it. So, well, it's a lot of work. It offers a value, though, and people seem to like it and appreciate it. Okay, dude. I think we're done. I'm tired. Okay. Uh, thank you, everybody. We really appreciate you tuning in and, uh, doubt. and your comments and all that other stuff. And um, I will have something juicy. Yeah. All right. I look forward to finding out what that is, right? Thank you so much. Thank you, everybody.